people of pride and as well as he believes in what he's talking about. The knowledge that they've conjured up throughout the years to uh, uh, use against the people, which is the knowledge and wisdom of wickedness. Which is no wisdom, by the way. Mm. Uh, yeah, just on that point you just said in uh, Surah 10 and 13 says, for, for pride is the beginning of sin, and he that have, have it shall pour out abominations. And that's what Esau's been doing all of this time. Like oh. he was talking about these artists, pouring out abominations. Getting these artists to do all kinds of nonsense. But like I said, we don't know if that guy was one of those lost those lost babies mm. that you know they um they yeah. you know they they captured and yeah, yeah. brainwashed them, MK yeah. ultralized them and bred them to be actually. yeah, cunt, and bred that dude to be who he is today. That's a good point. So that they can use Jake to pour out what? Abominations, man. And pass these laws, these unrighteous decrees. Pouring out abominations. Go on, brother. Abominations, and therefore Yahweh brought upon them strange calamities yeah. and overthrew them utterly. And the Lord overthrew them utterly. So, this, I mean, this, this is evidence of when these previous empires governed the people strangely by pouring out abominations, they got leveled, man. So this is the thing. This is this is what happens when you you pour out abominations, man, and you miss you mislead the public by these abominations. Like for example, I remember back in two thousand and eight where um, this whole um, sodomy thing was going, was being pushed out there. It was mm. starting to be pushed out there. Four years later, I believe they passed a law in the States to where it was okay for two sodomites or two carbon munchers to get married. Yeah, under Obama. Right, under Obama, the Obama administration. So they've been pushing this, and they're still pushing it more heavier now with these artists. Was he the one that agreed to the uh, bestiality too? I think so. I wouldn't be surprised. Got a free set. Uh, Go on, uh, just a little bit more, yeah. yeah? Uh, Baba Kushar, just to end off, yeah. The Lord have cast down the thrones of the proud mm. princes mm -hmm. to set up the meek in their stead. Right, and to set up the meek in their stead. Like we just read earlier before, how the Lord have um, what is it? The power, the ha what is it? The uh, the power of the earth is in the hands of the Lord, we, yeah. and He set up those that are profitable. That's right. Right. So the Lord is going to set the men that are profitable because they, they excuse me. Yeah. The Most High is going to set the men up that are profitable to rule. Because these men, which are profitable to rule, have the commandments in their hearts. They're now become, what is it, um, those that are, in, that, that are under the, uh, the New Testament. The New Covenant, excuse me. Right? The New Covenant in the book of Hebrews, the 8th chapter, which Isaiah spoke about as well. First, I would say. So those guys are going to be profitable to rule, as well as we are. Where are those guys? The potential elect, Lord of willing. Lord willing. Lord willing. You know? We pray that we were the elect. We pray that we survive the um, the second death, and we and we see our reward, which is the kingdom going out. The Lord have plucked up the roots of the proud nations mm. and planted the lowly in their place. Right, and planted the lowly in their place, and that's what it says in Isaiah 14 on how the Lord will uh, will um, take us out of the land of our captivity and put us in our own land, and in, the, in our own land shall we possess the people. Shall we possess the nations? So that means that we're going to have slaves in the future. That means that the nation of Israel, the, the real Israelites, which makes up the so-called blacks, so-called Latinos, and so-called Native American Indians, are going to have slaves, man. And it's, it's going to start and begin with the elect. As every empire had. Every empire had servants. So we're going to have servants in our empire, in our world. What more? Yeah, uh, just to end it off. The Lord overthrew countries of the heathen to mm. destroy them to the foundation of the earth. Yeah. He took some of them away Come. and destroyed them and have made their memorial to yeah. cease from the earth. And made them a memorial to cease from the earth. Look at Sodom and Gomorrah. Look how that went down. That's right. Sodom and Gomorrah was, was, um, pout, was, uh, was pelted to nothing. When those brimstones came down on that city, that city was no more after that. And even yet, and still, we can st people still talk about Sodom and Gomorrah. These biblical historians and that, and we even talk about it because we'll, you know, we we can be we're biblical historians as well, as well as we're scholars. But we're everything in one because ultimately we have the Holy Spirit in us. That's right. And this is our part. This is a hit. This our, this is exactly our history anyway. Go on, brother. For pride was not made for men, nor furious anger for right. them that are born of a woman. Exactly. Pride was not made for them. So-called white men is proven to be the most proudest nation above all nations on the face of the earth. 
That's why he's poured, he's poured out the most abominations. And it's just the, the wickedness that's in these people that allows them to pour out these abominations anyway, to begin with. That's why the world is in an uproar, but they can just keep, I, hey, I say keep doing it, Esau. You know, because all Esau is doing is making my day and making the brothers That's right. day as well, as he's doing all of his wickedness. Because all of this wickedness is going to lead to destruction. If I might say. Go on, brother. It's like the most highest thrown Esau a shovel. Have, have any of you seen The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly? There's a part where Clint Eastwood yeah, oh, throws yeah, the yeah, man yeah. a shovel, Posh, and that. he says, dig. Yeah. So the most highest thrown Esau a shovel, and he's saying, dig. Yeah. So Esau's just digging his own grave. Everything yeah. he's doing, he's just digging himself deeper and deeper. Yep. I've got a precept though as well. Go on this up. is Job um, 4 and 8. Even as I have seen that they that plow iniquity mm -hmm. and sow wickedness right. will reap the same. Will reap the same. Whatever man sow, that shall he also reap. So it's a good thing that Esau's pouring out all of these abominable um, works out here, man, and, and, and conditioning men to put, to um, promote these deeds, mm. because eventually, when it's all said and done, it's going to deteriorate the system, and then the Lord is going to come back and, and, and uh, <laughs> add insult into injury, right along with with the fireworks, which, which is what they're going to come with already, the nuclear missiles. You understand? So I mean, it's it's a beautiful thing, man, that people have become the, what they've become today. Yeah, it's, it's going back to what I was saying earlier before. It shows us the condition in the estate of this empire. Can't go on. Uh, you wanted to say something, yeah? No, 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 just agreeing. Can't, Can't we to read more in the article or get the next one? Yeah, read a little bit more. There may be some more in there. All right, let's go. So it says... Um, <coughs> all right, so it says... An army statement reads, Prior to any adverse action, each would be notified of the suspension and potential relief of their duty, duties, it adds. Can't. They would then be counseled to provide the opportunity to be... Um, stabbed yeah. before they yeah. would become subject to removal from their positions as a general officer. Cut. So just lucky to break that down. I'm guessing they're going to try and interview people and say, "Well, look, why don't you want to take it mm. before they uh, proceed with the discipline?" Right. So they're going to be it's trying to encourage brother. more and more people to take it yeah. than they are going to try and um, uh, dismiss people. Right. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. the end of the article. Okay, that's it on that. All right. Yeah, cool. I'll go to the next one now. Yeah, <laughs> What's going on, man? Oh, yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's too good to be true, man. I mean, how can you not believe in this truth when you see all this stuff happening? Mm -hmm. So it says, uh, this is from RT. <coughs> Thousands of LAPD cops and staff to seek religious exemptions from COVID-19 uh, serpent's juice mandate. It says, the Los Angeles Police Department <coughs> is apparently more spiritual than anyone imagined. Now, that's a flipping sideways statement right there. And it says, as more than 2,600 employees reportedly plan to pursue religious exemptions to the city's C-19 serpent's juice mandate. Mm. In addition to those seeking religious waivers, more than 35, so more than 350 plan to seek uh, medical exemptions to the jab order. Yeah, so this is the police department now. Now they're catching her. And uh, their excuse is, is, well, you know, they're going to lie and say, well, it's because of my religious background now. And uh, hopefully they may keep the job, but um, you know, exactly, yeah. But um, at the same time, people are just not going with it because they've seen they've seen what it can do to people, and this is where the fear comes in. But like I said, a lot of them are going to take it for the sake of saving their job, and uh, as well as fulfilling prophecy, because these people that uh, which will come down on the tribes of Israel as well as their own people, it's going to be them. It's going to begin with the police force and then the military is going to get involved in that as we talk about Jacob's struggle. So these people, a large portion of them will take it. But what I'm, what I'm saying is that you have a lot of divisions going on in this society and these different variations are part of government. Whether you have the governors, whether you have the military, whether you have the police. So it's all, it's, it's, it's all wishy-washy things going on. It's not straightforward. They're not bringing together as one. Right along with the prime minister. Oh, excuse me. I keep saying prime minister. It's different in America. They, they, they say it's president. I've been in the UK for too long, man. Come on. <laughs> Go on, brother. Most of my life, basically. Go on. Right. Well, it says, um, city employees. No, let me read it again. In addition to those seeking religious waivers, more than 350 plan to seek medical exemptions for the See? jab order. How much? 350. 
Okay. <clears throat> the Los Angeles Times reported on Monday citing a city official with access to the data. Mm. City employees were due to make preliminary requests for exemptions by the end of Monday. Okay, okay. The mandate requires that city employees be fully serpent juiced by 5th of October unless they are granted an exemption. But you know, 350, that's nothing, man. I think it's so, just one department, man. Oh, it's one department? For one police department, that is a, that is a lot of people. Oh, right, okay, cut, cut. Um, I think it's one department, because it says in LA, right? Cut, yeah. Right, so reading on it says, um, those who get the waivers will face weekly testing to show they aren't infected with C-19. Can't, can't. Yeah, go yeah, go on, no, 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 go on, go on. Total exemption requests by the police could amount to about 24% of the department's more than 12,000 employees, yes, mm -hmm. one department, far more than any other city agency. Yeah, so I stand corrected. It was like, like the brother just read his one, his one um, department. So, yeah, that's a lot of people. But can I say something, brother? But that 350 is a significant figure. What happened in 350? No, they said um, that they, they, they've opposed against it. No, there's something, there's something biblical that happened in 350 years ago. 350 AD. 350 AD. What was happening in 350 AD again? It wasn't at the Council of Nicaea. Oh, something no, like three, that. 325. 325. Okay. The Council of Nicaea was Okay, was okay, okay. Come on. Still lucky for going. That's all right. Right, so reading on it says... Um, i tell you what, brother, read it again. Read everything again. Man. All right, let's rewind it from the top. Yeah, rewind that. It says, um, the article is called, Thousands of LAPD cops and staff to seek religious exemptions from C-19 Serpent's Juice Mandate. Mm -hmm. It says, the Los Angeles de Police Department is apparently more spiritual than anyone imagined. Yeah, on hmm. the left-hand side. Yeah, so I think this is all the police in Los Angeles all together. This is Los Angeles oh. Department, right? Okay. Says, As more than 2,600 employees reportedly plan to pursue religious exemptions mm. uh, to the city's C-19 uh, surface juice mandate. So that would have, the, like you said, brother, that would have to be the whole department. 350 police officers seek exemption. Mm. So that's all that, I mean, like, that's the whole department right there. Oh, so lucky, I'm, let me clarify. 2,600 out of the Los LAPD are seeking religious exemption. Okay. But 350 plan to seek a medical exemption. Okay, but right. it's, okay. it's the same. But so it's, it's approximately almost 3,000 people. There you go. So that's, yeah, it's just looking like it's the whole department once again. But um, yeah, I mean, it just goes to show you, man, that people are just, uh, um, people that's in these different, you know, government, uh, uh, these different levels of government, because mm. you, have the, um, you have the officials as well as you have the police department, yeah. you have the military forces, they're all saying they're not with it. And what we just read earlier before, half of these government officials in these different states, what is it, it was 25 states, right? Uh, in the other article? Yeah, the first one that I had you read, like it listed all of the states. I think it was yeah, yeah, 25. Yeah. yeah, it was 25 because you said that's about half of the states in the US. Yeah, that's half of the country. So that's a, that's a lot of... Um, <laughs> Up for. Yeah. Division. So it's just not working. It, it, it's, not, it's not happening. I mean, we've been saying this for years. Like, I've said this for years. You know, that this new world order thing ain't gonna work out. And yeah. we can clearly see it that it's not gonna happen. But again, they've deceived for so, they've been deceiving for so long, and carrying on with craftiness for so long that they've even deceived themselves. <laughs> May I say something? Go on, brother. That's a good point because all this week I've been uh, watching the news and a lot of, like even Australia and other countries, they're looking at Biden sideways. Mm. And they're showing how his opinion polls have completely plummeted. Um, over the past few months, you know, starting with the debacle yeah. in Afghanistan, and now with this mandate, like his his popularity is just at yeah. all time low. Yeah. And they're even interviewing some uh, regular uh, so called American citizens, and all of them are saying, "Look, man, uh, we thought Biden was going to be good for us." Hey, but that's he's worse funny than you Trump. said that. That's that's funny you said it because I was thinking that in my head. I was thinking that now they wish that President yeah, yeah, DJ yeah. Trump was in office. Now all of a sudden, yeah. If I could just add to that, uh, there's circular, circular around on social media. Mm. They're calling him. Um, he went and visited somewhere. Biden, this is, God. and they called him. You, tire, you know, people shouting at. Yeah, fuck, fuck Biden. Yeah, you yeah. know, calling that. God. You know, tyrant and dictator and all that. You know, mm. so people are now realizing, <laughs> and a lot of Jake too, because Jake was pushing for Biden. He said Trump was racist. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're regretting their. Um, they, they voted for him. You see, exactly. God. And it serves them right because we ain't supposed to be voting anyway. We've already got a king. That's it. That's it, bro. And they True. thought that, that Trump would be the great man who's going to restore America to greatness. Mm -hmm. 
and now the, the place is falling apart from the inside, man. Oh yeah. And I, and I mean, I've said this too. I knew that uh, uh, Joe Biden was gonna do the job. It's Joe Biden. I've checked this. I've checked this history. Like this dude, yeah. he, man. Like he, he don't he don't take too lightly to you so-called Negroes. Yeah. He was reading something, and he was just reading it like it was nothing. Like like he didn't give a shit, man. You know. I think he was um, governor at the time, and he was reading the statement. He was he didn't even he didn't even pause or, or try to uh, uh, you know read the thing in order. He just used the term nigger. As he was reading it, as yeah. it was read, <laughs> and in 1995, also, um, he was down with the crime bill. Clinton was setting up a crime bill to arrest these jakes that were suspected of um, doing criminal uh, uh, um, was it um, activity. Strike? Was it the free strike law? I think so. Yeah, yeah it, it was an it was an, it was a 94 crime bill, basically. So he initiated it in 95, I believe, when he was when he was in, um, when he was governor. So I remember all of that, man. Yeah, I remember that, and I also did some research on it too. So there you go. So he don't he don't like so called black people. He's the real racist one. Donald Trump. All of them are racist, man. The whole lot of them. All of them. The thing, but the thing with Trump, Trump was just trying to steer the country in the right direction. He was doing him. But Joe Biden, you know, he was the guy that was going to do the job for the banking elite. Yeah. He was taking too long and opposing and resisting. So they said, you know what? Let's just get this guy out of here. And that's, that's what they did. They got him out of there eventually. He only did four years. They got his ass out of there. And now they got Joe Biden. Now they got Joe Biden now. And Joe Biden's doing a mighty good ass job. Yeah. And if I may as well, didn't Joe Biden, there's also the video of him saying, you will, you will make a ruling yes. on this microchip. Right. You will rule on that. Mark my yeah. words before you're 10 years older. Yeah. You will rule on it. That was in 2005. <clears throat> so he was, or he was that guy, even from back then. So how much more now? He's older now. He ain't got the energy to stand yeah. <laughs> to stand up, right? He's sleeping all the day on time. Yeah. <laughs> but he's happy as hell. He's ready for this new world order thing to kick in, and he's old. Yeah. So he's man. He's on and ready. He, he said, "We have been patient, right? But now our patience it's is wearing thin. thin. Exactly. So now the devil's starting to show his horns, man. Yep. Shall and I, he was that guy. Go on. Now. Shall we done? Keep going. Right. So it says, in addition to those seeking religious waivers. More than 350 plan to seek medical exemptions to the jab order. Mm -hmm. The Los Angeles Times reported on Monday, citing uh, official, uh, citing a city with official access to the data. Okay. City employees were due to make preliminary requests for the exemptions by the end of Monday. Mm -hmm. The mandate requires that the city employees be fully um, stabbed by October 5th. Okay. It's all going down quick, man. Yeah. Unless they are granted an exemption. Those who get the waivers will fake face weekly testing to show that they aren't infected with the C19. And you can already see, because all of this wasn't going on when Donald Trump was in office, if you Can't. notice. Nice. Everything was going yeah. real slow. Yeah, you notice it. Yeah. I mean, even though we had the lockdown thing when he was in office, but he was still moving slow. Now look now look where we are. But it's all about gradualism anyway, so. Yeah. You but know. I'm just saying Biden is bringing it home. Yeah, yeah man. man. He ain't even been in there yet. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, exactly. And he's bringing it home. So he's that dude, man. He's that guy. And the thing with Biden, Biden's so old, he's got dementia now. The nigga can't think straight. Yeah. So let's put this motherfucker in office that's <laughs> down with the program. And he can't think straight. Yeah. So if he can't think straight, he won't resist. Khan. Right. Khan. Right. So and he's old. And he's, and he's fucking old getting ready to die. So how? This nigga ain't going to resist against us. He still love those kids, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, he's got right, his hands right. all up on the minute. Yeah, man. Right. And also because he's, he's, he's it's good that he's old as well because we know that the the, the elders of the elite they want to see this fulfilled before they pass. Right. right. So he's like it's all tying in together. They're rushing now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so reading on it says it says total exemption requests by police could amount to 24% mm. of the department's more than 12,000 employees. God. Far more than any other city agency. Oh. The rate of preliminary exemptions requests was about two to three percent in other city departments, according to a local NBC News affiliate. Mm. It says only about 47 percent of the LAPD was fully serpent juiced as of September 3rd, <laughs> compared to an average rate of 69 percent for all adults in Los Angeles County. <clears throat> Six officers have filed a lawsuit against the city on Monday, asking a judge to overturn the serpent's juice mandate while claiming there is no evidence that protection through inoculation is superior to naturally naturally acquired immunity. Can't, can't. 
And you know, too, I was reading an article as well on how um, Joe Biden and his whole entire administration, I'm going to have to go back and read it, might even do a sit down. On it. But um, what they're planning on doing is they're planning on um, overseeing the, F the, F the, um, the FDA, the Food Drug Administration thing, and disapproving it. Something like that. So I'm going to have to go into that already. Yeah, but this is the thing. Like, if you... If you if you're if you're linked in with the right people, as well as Joe Biden is, they can do whatever the hell they want. They can do whatever the hell they want because who are they really working for? They're working for the banking elite. So if you're if you're rocking with them, you could basically pass any law you want. Now you got a lot of people that are saying, oh, they can't do such and such because of the Nuremberg law, the, um, Nuremberg, code. the Nuremberg code. But they can they can they could find another law to debunk that too. Huh. These levels can do what they, the fuck they yeah, want. Yeah, they could move the goalposts anytime. Yeah, yeah, because they're the ones that came up with the numeral birth. They came up with that. So the same laws that came from your your um, your um government, which is set up by the banking elite anyway, which is moved by them, they can they can come up with a code or, or, or a law to debunk that. Exactly. Like, for example, years ago, I remember <clears throat> um, President Bush, when he was in office, and, uh, like, he found out, obviously, he already knew that the American people, there was all about the Constitution, this and the Constitution, that. And you know what he said? He said, oh, it's just a piece of paper. So that's how <laughs> they feel about it, man. That's how they feel about the Constitution and all of these different laws that they've given the people. Which yeah. really is no, it's no, it's no actual grounded law. It's just privileges that they've given you. Like, for example, the reason why we're able to come out here and preach and teach the word, because there's certain laws that, that allow us to do it. Like, for example, and I know these two laws, well, I don't remember the other one, but I know this law where we have um, freedom of expression, and there's another one too, freedom of religion. So these are the two laws that um, allow us to do what we're doing yeah. without the police hassling us. Now, we've experienced the police hassling us because in our reality, they don't really want us to be out here anyway, but they can't do nothing about it because those two laws actually allow us to do what we're doing. If we're causing alarm and distress, and that's when the going goes wrong from there, you know? But we can do what we're doing right now. We can do it. So, I mean, but what I'm saying is, is these are privileges, though. Like, how long are we going to be? It's going to come a time where the elite, well, beginning of the elite, they're going to tell these prime ministers, and as well as Boris Johnson, to just shut the city down. Like, for example, the city was on lockdown, and um, we were told to pack up when we was in, when we was in Vauxhall. Con. You know? So... There you go. They can just do what the fuck they want. They can pass laws, make new laws for the people, and then um, make up another law, legislation, to debunk all of those laws that, that um, allowed us our so-called freedoms. Yeah. Because they're not really freedoms, they're just privileges. If I may say something. Go on, bro. That's a good point, because something that I noticed with a lot of the whistleblowers who are now coming out and, and revealing yeah. what's really going on, a lot <coughs> of them are saying, we need to get together, we're, we're drafting up, we're getting these lawyers to come up with this... Uh, case and all this kind of stuff i'm like well hang on you can't be esau with his own system there you go the system was built to benefit the elites of esau you're yeah. not gonna you're not gonna take them down by being caught cases against them right you need your howard shire to come back and completely yeah. level this place that's it and that's, that's it. what these um a lot of these like alex joneses and whoever's they're, right. they're not they're not preaching about the return of your howard shire they're no. preaching oh we can take these globalists down by uniting together right. and standing right. up right so they're, they're missing that that, that most important piece of the puzzle, right. yeah. which is your Howard Shire's return. That's so, what's going to bring all this to an end. But yeah. uh, to add what you just said, remember that article you sent yes. out yesterday? Which that, one was the, that? The, 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 um, the funeral guy. Okay. Yeah? They said, oh, we must all stand up. You know, He's got good knowledge, you know, and he's, got, he's right. We back him up. But is he Howard Shai? Everybody yeah. has to come back. Yeah. Well, not everyone. I mean, that you know, who is meant to come out to Howard Shai? You know, that's the only way out, brother. Yeah. yeah, that's the only way out. And that's how you know this is the truth. Yeah. Because I, before I woke up fully to the, the truth, I was always researching like conspiracy theories, everything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. And I got to a point where it's like, you're thinking, hang on a minute. <coughs> These elites have got everything in lockdown. There's no way, there's no way on earth we're ever going to get out of this situation. Never. It's only a Howard Shy that can deliver. Thank you, brother. So, and that's what they don't, that's what they fail to realize because, um, They'll even talk about, oh, Jesus Christ is coming and all of this other stuff. But then they'll they'll override their beliefs and just focus on taking the system down by themselves. And, and guess what? They can't. You know, and, it, and you know, when you think about it, it this never happened. The, the, the mass of the people haven't awakened to the point of taking down their government. They haven't awakened to that level. Why? Because that's not that's not the will of the father. Can't. That's why it hasn't happened yet. Nice. So you, you nice. You're thinking to yourself, 
how come these people ain't going postal yet? Yeah. Because the Heavenly Father, as it says, what is it? Man's going of oh, the Lord, Lord, and how can a man then understand his own way? So that shows you, because think about it, like you got millions of people in the UK alone. All they can, all, all of the people in the UK, all they got to do, because the information is already there about their government and everything. The information is already there. So all they got to do is read the information, read, uh, not read, but also listen to people that know about the fuckery that's going on and just say, fuck this system and go post them. They can easily do it right now as I speak. But why is, what's holding them back? The spirit of the Lord's holding them back because prophecies have to be fulfilled. And ultimately, it's the Lord's show. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, what, that's what's really happening is that this life and this existence, it's all governed by the Lord and it's his show. It's its film. Okay? Con. And people ain't doing whatever the hell they want to do. People, people's lives are pretty much being governed by the Lord himself. That's right, brother. Mm -hmm. Going up. You right. got something else, Senator. Uh, no, I've got nothing else. I was just going to read the rest of this. Okay, come Go on. So it says, um, <clears throat> about, only about 47% of the LAPD was fully stabbed by as of September 3rd, compared to an average rate of 69% in for all adults in Los Angeles County. That's a lot, man. A lot of people are taking it. Yeah, they're taking it. Come on. And it says, um, Six officers filed a lawsuit against the city on Monday, mm. asking the judge to overturn the um, V mandate while claiming there's no evidence that protection through inoculation is superior to natural acquired immunity. And can I just say this as well? And even when you have um, people taking it and as well as those that are not taking it, again, it's causing division because now people that have taken the thing they're gonna look at the un the unvaccinated as as the as the enemy. Yeah. And that's where it's all gonna that's what this is what I believe personally. I believe that the media is gonna spin it around and saying that see we gotta be aware of um those that have been unmaxed. Yeah. Yep. They're that's the right. problem. They're the ones uh spreading this Delta variant and all of this shenanigans. And uh that's just what I think is gonna happen. Well calculated. Yeah. Right. And uh they're gonna sway the people that have been vaccinated. To believe that this is this is what's really going on that is is, is the fault of those that have not been checked you know Con. and once they got the people's minds then they, they and then they can pass laws against the unvaxxed yep and pursue them and if i may as well go on brother um there's been talk that due to the uh, graphene oxide um, oh, yeah, the gra yeah. and connecting with the 5g that they might actually be able to put thoughts in people's heads mm -hmm. yeah, to make yeah. them think that okay like, let's say you want to go and get a bottle of milk. Mm. You might think that's your thought, but really the government can put it out there. And yeah. those who have been hit by the surface just can take that yeah, thought. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So they're saying that, well, what, what could the government tell people to do? Mm. It could tell people, like, these guys are the problem. Yes. They haven't taken a shot. Get them! And they could yeah. go mad and just... Be yeah, like, man. You could do that too. Same and way. if that's the case, that will tie into the prophecy which says, yeah. um, mm -hmm. a man shall spoil another man's house and have no right. thought. Uh, right. Roughly paraphrasing. It could all tie into that. Because mm -hmm. we know there's going to be a sedition amongst men right so that's a possibility yeah and true, you know true. It too as well like like because we was talking about it last week about this whole graphene thing now the term graph simply means um to write con or from the word pro even the word program the word graph means to write as well so if you take the thing then you're gonna you're gonna have their um you're gonna have you're gonna be able to be controlled pretty much because they're gonna write things in your head mm -hmm. telling you what to do and how to conduct yourself. This is the system that they're setting up where yep. they they want total control over yourself. And people that have taken the thing, they look at us like conspiratory nuts, but that's okay. Because what they don't understand is that there's an absolute evil that the world has never experienced. And we see this absolute evil. They don't see it. Mm. They think the world is all nice and gentle and bubbly and everything's cool. No, it's not. There's a group of people in the earth that have an evil, sadistic agenda. Con. Okay? And that's what these people are going to find out. They're going to find out that their lives are going to be taken hold of with these people because they're, they're subscribing with taking 